Give me a bottle of anything and a glazed donut to go. 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 Well, KISS frontman Paul Stanley broke his silence about the ongoing debate between Gene Simmons and Van Halen singer David Lee Roth by posting a message on Twitter and Instagram. As you may know, David Lee Roth was the opening act of KISS's End of the Road tour before the global pandemic back in 2020. <laughs> Due to the pandemic, the tour dates were rescheduled by the band for 2021. The farewell tour kicked off on August 18th this week, but David Lee Roth did not appear at the rescheduled shows. Instead, David Lee Roth was replaced by the performance painter, David Garibaldi. Speaking to Rolling Stone magazine about Diamond David Lee Roth's absence from the end of the road tour, Gene Simmons revealed that David Lee Roth will not be opening for the band from now on. However, he made some controversial statements. Although he praised David Lee Roth's previous performances, he claimed that something happened to him. Simmons then compared Roth to a bloated naked Elvis on the bathroom floor. Gene Simmons did state that David Lee Roth was great in his heyday, but he just doesn't cut the mustard anymore. Following Simmons' remark about David Lee Roth, the fans thought that they were pretty inappropriate. On August 20th, 2021, David Lee Roth responded to Gene Simmons' statements as well, and he posted the same 18 photos of a child extending his middle finger on his Instagram post with the caption, Roth to Simmons. Recently, Paul Stanley has also commented upon the feud between David Lee Roth and Gene Simmons on his Twitter and his Instagram account. In his posting, he appeared to support the Van Halen icon as he praised his performances and claimed he is still Diamond Dave on the stage. And Paul Stanley's tweet read, Speaking of David Lee Roth, I remember seeing him in the 1970s with Van Halen and thinking to myself, there is a new sheriff in town. Just amazing what he evolved into in a few short years. On stage, he's still Diamond Dave. I don't know what side you are on this debate, but whatever you do, don't forget to keep on listening to Kiss and Van Halen and keep on rocking. Bye now.